Everybody knows that Brandon Thurston trained me. Um, it was a really big deal to me. He was always my favorite wrestler whenever I would go to ESW shows as a kid. He showed up here, I think, January 2017. And uh, I think he was a kid who wanted to be a hockey player. He found out he wanted to be a pro wrestler. Um, I always thought he was the best wrestler in Buffalo. The opportunity to be trained by him and to be in a ring with him every day and really learn from him was kind of like a dream come true for me. Like in a lot of ways, I saw myself in him. He's this sort of a similar style of wrestler as I am. He's a very technical, mat-based wrestler. Being in a ring against Brandon for the first time one-on-one -on -one was a really cool moment for me. I got really emotional after the match. Me, him, and Kevin Black would all cry together. It was a great moment. It felt like a culmination of all the hard work that we put in. I think the greatest seven minutes of Daniel Garcia's career was in that Yoli Fall Cup match with me. And I think in those seven minutes, he got to find out how good he was. But he found out he wasn't good enough yet to beat me. I truly believe after that win, that went to Brandon's head. And Brandon became the hardest person to be around. I had just beaten Bill Collier in a very intense match. He was saying some nice things about Bill Collier, and he had to show up and throw his crutches down because that would get a big reaction from everybody. That, that would get a big oh, big pop, big oh from everybody. When he's in front of the computer, he wants to act all tough. I don't play that. And he gets in my face and he slaps me and he wants me to slap him back. Like I'm gonna beat up somebody who's fresh out of the hospital, who's still in rehab for two broken legs. He says a lot of stuff on social media, and he'll say a lot of stuff when I'm not there. But when I walk into a room, Brandon Thurston melts. I'm 33 years old. He's 20, 21 years old, whatever. Is he the best already? And even if he is, he's the best because I made him the best. You could see the look on his face when he was visiting me in my hospital bed. I could tell he wasn't really that sorry. I think that goes to show you with all these opportunities he's been getting lately, I think he's a little disappointed that I'm coming back. The only reason he's getting these opportunities is because I'm hurt. I really don't think that there's anybody in that ESW locker room who can hang with me. Brandon Thurston's done some stuff, not really, but he's been wrestling for 15 years. I've only been wrestling for two. On June 29th at St. John's Park, he's gonna walk into a building that I've wrestled in for over 15 years. One thing that I found out about myself through this accident is that wrestling isn't the most important thing in my life. And that's what makes me dangerous. I have tons, tons of things in my life that I'm fighting for. I have my friends, I have my family. Brandon Thurston doesn't have that. I'm gonna take the one thing in his life that means something to him, the thing that's most important to him. That's the ESW Championship. What we're trying to do on June 29th is find out who is really the best wrestler in Buffalo, New York.